everybody and welcome back to virtual story time at the castle shannon library during september we are trying to read books about back to school even though going back to school probably doesn't look the same for most of us as it normally does it's still back to school time so we're reading back to school books and today we're going to read one called the king of kindergarten it's by Derek Bar barnes and vanessa brantley newt Oh, Newton. See, this is the problem I get into. On the front cover, it's always covered by stickers. Gotta look on the inside for it to tell me who the real authors and illustrators are. The morning sun blares through your window like a million brass trumpets. It sits and shines behind your head like a crown. Mommy says that today you are going to be the king of kindergarten. You'll use a golden brush to clean ye royal chiclets. You'll wash your own face with a cloth bearing the family crest. And you'll dress yourself neatly in hand-picked garments from your far-off villages of Osh and Kosh. But gosh, you'll be ready to rain. My baby is heading to school, Mommy will say during breakfast. But you're not a baby. Could a baby wolf down a tower of pancakes the way you can? I don't think so. You're going up so fast, Daddy will say, and he'll be right. I can't stay the same size forever, can I, you'll say? One day I'll be taller than you, Daddy, and you'll be my little man. Daddy will laugh, but you won't be joking. Then a big yellow carriage will deliver you to a grand fortress. As you walk up to the towering doors, you'll remember mommy saying, hold your head high and greet everyone with a brilliant beaming majestic smile for you are the king of kindergarten. Your teacher will welcome you with a warm smile and a friendly good morning. She'll be delighted by how you recite your name with pride. When you head to your royal seat, the kids at your round table will wave and say hi like they've been waiting for you all summer. So you smile back, return the wave, and give them a cheerful hi everybody. The truth is, you couldn't wait to meet your king kindergarten kingdom either. Your teacher will go over classroom rules and you'll all discuss important matters such as shapes, the alphabet, and the never-ending mystery of numbers. She'll even read a book about trucks, trains, and tractors. Whew, sounds like a lot, but you're the king of kindergarten piece of cake. You will show your bravery at recess when you go up to one of your classmates and ask, Marie, do you want to play with me? Not only will she say yes, but she'll lead the way in helping you save the kingdom by battling a fire-breathing dragon. In the cafeteria, the boy sitting next to you will be missing dessert. You'll have packed your favorite, chocolate pudding, with an extra cup just in case. So you'll say to him, want a pudding, Howie? And he'll say thanks, and you won't mind at all, because what could be cooler than sharing with new friends? After a royal rest, you'll rise to sing and dance and bop to a rhythmic beat.
The day will be one you'll never forget. At the end of it, your teacher will wish you all a magnificent evening and bid you farewell until dawn. On your way back home, you'll think of all the things you can't wait to tell your parents. I made a bunch of new friends, my teacher is nice, and recess is the best thing ever. And tomorrow it will begin again, another day as the charming, the wonderful, and the kind King of Kindergarten. And that is the end of our story. We hope you enjoyed our back to school story time today. We hope you'll join us next week, same time, same place for another story time. And we can't wait to see you back at the library soon. Have a great day.